As you know, detectives from Burley CIB are investigating the assault of a 61-year-old uh, male person um, at outside a coffee shop at Cool and Gatter on Saturday afternoon. Um, we're releasing some images of um, people that uh, we wish to speak to in relation to this matter. We believe they can assist us with our inquiries. Um, there are a series of, of uh, images of um, five different men. Um, what we're asking for is assistance from the public. Uh, if anyone's got any information at all uh, as to the identity of these uh, these men, um, that they contact Crime Stoppers or their local police. Um, as you'd be aware, there were large crowds in attendance at the uh, Cooley Rocks um, Festival on Saturday afternoon. We're also asking any person who was present um, when the assault occurred uh, to contact police, uh, anyone who may have witnessed anything at all, um, and in particular anyone who may have taken any images of um, any incidents that occurred um, by video or, ca or a digital camera. We're also asking anyone with any information of that type to contact police. Is there any CCTV that captures the actual alleged assault? We're in the process of examining uh, CCTV from a number of sources. Um, we're still in the process of analysing and examining that uh, footage. The 61-year-old, could you explain what injuries he received and how he is at the moment? He's fine at the moment, but he did receive a, a cut to the forehead above his eye. Uh, did require sutures, so he did require um, some medical attention, um, but he's, he's okay at the moment, obviously he sh shook up um, as a result of the, uh, the incident. What's his what relation? Yeah. What, what are we doing? Look, at this point of time, um, we're still examining the causes of the, of the matter. Um, as far as we can establish, he was just minding his own business and, um, and going about his lawful business. Um, it, it's our un uh, understanding that he was really attacked for no good reason at all. Okay. And just explain what the connection is, or if any connection with that one most often times. At this point of time, these males in the, in the images, we have nothing to suggest that they are members of ONCGs. We are obviously examining any link, association uh, to any OMCG, uh, but at this point of time, there's no evidence to say that they are members of an OMCG. Is there, um, the 61-year-old, the um, so he has no... He's just a stranger to these men. He's got no he, no association with him. He has no association with these men that we are aware of. And was he trying to take a photo of them or, or something? We're examining the the circumstances surrounding the assault. Um, I understand that he he did take an image of, of um, one at least one of the men. Is this incident related to the um, the football that appeared in Cooling Out of Court yesterday with regards to knuckle dusters? Is this the same specific thing we're talking about? There is a connection between the events. I can't comment any further on that. As you know, there are matters before the court, so I'm limited in what I can say about that. Um, but we are certainly examining any links between those two incidents. The photos that we're going to show us, we haven't seen them yet, but do they show, obviously, the outlaw motorcycle gang members are these photos? No, as I said, the, the images are of um, five different men um, in groups of four. Um, and at this point of time, we have no evidence to say that they are members of an OMCG, but we are certainly examining any potential links once they're identified. So these five men knew, like, appeared to know each other? They appear to, yes. So we've got, we've got four people allegedly assaulted by a, a, an associate of the motorcycle club gang, a club, motorcycle club member on s yesterday morning, and then we've got a 61-year-old on Saturday. Um, uh, is the Atwell motorcycle club man who's on the Gold Coast? No, I wouldn't say that. But police treat um, the issue of OMCGs in the Gold Coast and, and anywhere in Queensland um, quite seriously, and uh, particularly in the Gold Coast district, um, we're committed. To, um, to policing the OMCG issues, um, and certainly it's a high priority for us. Is it a bigger problem on the Gold Coast than anywhere else in the state, as far as you know? Look, I can't comment on, on the scale of the problem, but you know, the Gold Coast is Queensland's second largest city. Um, we do have uh, significant numbers of OMCGs and associates in the Gold Coast, and that's why it is a, a priority for us. You arrested yesterday um, morning um, in the south port of a man connections to an outlaw motorcycle gang. I don't know if you've seen pictures of that, but it was a fairly violent incident. Do you think that that use of force is okay? 
I'm, I'm not commenting on that investigation. Um, that investigation doesn't have anything to do with me.